If you know that, say, wait for me, Pastor. All right. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When? When? When is faith hoped for? The Bible says now. Now, faith is. Now, faith is. Not tomorrow. Not next week. You don't need to see the things. You just need to know that these things are coming to you. Sit down for a moment. There's been so much teachings on faith. So much teachings on faith. So I've been teaching faith. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about faith in verb because faith is not verb. If you keep talking and thinking that faith is a verb, you will struggle for the rest of eternity and you will not have faith. Praise God. When there is no foundation, there cannot be a roof. Because the foundation needs to hold the building to where the put roof on it. Praise God. So there is a foundation of faith before you now start talking about the action of faith. Praise God. We must first recognize that faith is in three elements. We have the life, we have the gift, then we have the personality. I cannot live the life without the personality. I can operate the gift for a moment without the personality. But I cannot live the life without the personality. Glory to God. And these days, everybody wants the gift. The gift is not for everyday life. The gift comes for a special period or special occasion or special events. You live the life. By living the life, you display the personality. So if you're talking about faith, and you do not talk about the personality, then you've not started teaching your people what faith is. It is the personality that drives the action that you see. Then somebody says, this one has faith. Praise God. You know, it's not everybody that is called a believer that is actually a believer. A believer is one that can put to action their faith. So if you are not putting to action your faith, that means you are not yet. What? A believer. You are still trying to become a believer. You might be born again does not mean that you believe. Hallelujah. I'll say it again. You might be born again, does not mean that you believe. You know Jesus is your Lord, your Master, and your Savior. Do you actually believe it? The Bible says when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Many people confess with their mouth, but yet they are not believing in their heart. So, will you call them being? Believers, no. They are confessors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are confessors, they are not believers. And we have a lot of confessors on regalias and mounting the pulpit. Praise God. But we don't have believers this 
States. Do you know in church history? In church history, if you tell them that you believe in the resurrected Christ in church history, they will take you to the places where cripples are. If you cannot heal the cripple, then they will not show you their meeting place because there you are not a believer. You are a confessor. We have plenty of confessors in church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, I'm not, I'm not going to be a confessor. I'm not going to be a confessor. I'm going to be a believer. I'm going to be a believer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I put up a post on Facebook. Okay. And a confessor saw it. And said, Pastor. This is false doctrine. <laughs> I looked at the conversor. I shook my head. There is nothing to show Christ on his wall. Nothing to show Christ on his wall. And he looked at the post and he said, this is false teaching. Faith is not something you do. It's who you are. Faith, you, you cannot be a believer and not have faith. Amen? You cannot be a believer and not have faith. If you say you are a believer, then you have faith. Your believing is your faith. And your believing is you. Simple. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12, 2. Hebrews 12, 2. Jesus said, And the author and the finisher of your faith. If Jesus is the author and is the finisher, it only means that the personality called Jesus is faith. The personality called Jesus is faith. And you have Jesus in the inside of you. And the Bible says in 1 John 4, 16, 17, it says as Jesus is in the heavens, so are you. If as Jesus is, so you are Jesus' is faith, then you are faith. So faith is not what you do, it's who you are. It is who you are that produces the action that you do. Hallelujah. What am I doing? I'm preaching. Because I'm a pastor, I preach. Right? Because I'm a believer, because I'm faith, I use faith. I do faith. I don't do faith because I'm an unbeliever. I do faith because I'm a believer. Because faith is in the inside of me. It is what is in the inside of me I'm working out. I cannot go and do a surgical operation on anybody because I'm not a medical doctor. That's not who I am. I cannot doubt God because I'm not an unbeliever. That's not who I am. I'm a believer. So I have faith in God.
Because many people really don't know. Jesus said to him, I will come and heal her. Right? That's what Jesus said. So Jesus was actually on his way to heal her. Now, why did the Holy Spirit put that man's name there? Jairus. Why did the Holy Spirit put the name there? Because there is nothing in the Bible that is not meaningful or have an hidden secret and truth to it. The Bible says he's a ruler in the synagogue. That's who he is. That means he's conversant with the scriptures. Right? Do you know the meaning of his name? Who God has enlightened. So Jairus already knew who Jesus is. And he already knew that if I know who Jesus is, I can ask him to bring his life to give to my child. So he believed by knowing who Jesus is. And because he knew by believing, he had faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have faith in what you don't know. You only have faith in what you know. So what you know makes who you are. So, so Tyros knowing because he has been enlightened by God, he became a follower of Jesus. He became a believer. He became Jesus. How many of us know that if you follow somebody too much, you become a replica of that person? Praise God. The root word for Jairus' name in the Hebrew, Yara, the root word for his name in the Hebrew is light. It's the same word God said, light be in Genesis. Light be, enlightened, light, hallelujah. And when light came, knowledge also came. If you don't know, you can't believe. And if you don't know, you cannot act on it. If you don't know, you cannot have life. Praise God. Hallelujah. You cannot have life. So what is faith then? Faith is a person. And is a person of Jesus. You can only move in faith when you have Jesus in the inside. If you don't have Jesus in the inside of you, you cannot move that faith. Because you are not a believer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, begin to say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. And listen, if you've been with me this year, you should know Jesus. I know Jesus. The things that Jesus do, I can do. You are not, you are not, you are not boastful. You are always telling the truth. What Jesus can do or has done, you can do. Do you know why you can do it? Because the life of faith is in the inside of you. Do you know why people go for crusade and go for healing meeting and people are not healed? Do you know why? Because they keep teaching there, not a now. You cannot tap into someone's action. Actions are for the moment, and the next moment, actions are gone. But now remains till eternity. So if they are telling you, James, James. Because that's the, that's the scripture they use a lot of time. Oh, you see, show me your works, I will show you your faith. That's the scripture they use a lot of times. I'm going to use two very good examples. Abraham and Rahab. When did God call Abraham my friend? 
Was it after Isaac was born or before Isaac was born? It was far before Isaac was born. At least 20 years before Isaac was born. God has already said, Abraham is my friend. But James said, the action, the action for that faith was him wanting to kill his son. Abraham had the life of God in him and has seen the production or the produce or the product of the life of God in him so he knew that even if he kills the son, another life will come because he has the life in the inside of him. Hallelujah. It's not that action that produced the faith. The faith was already produced when he believed the signs that were shown him from the stars. And all the signs that were shown Abraham from the stars were about the crucifixion of Jesus. So he saw Jesus and believed. He saw faith and he believed. And he began to reproduce. And today, not just Israel, but all of us that are believers are Abraham's seed. We are. We are the person we are. Is, is the start of lineage for Jesus. Hope we know that. We are is the start of lineage for the Messiah. A what? A person. She's what? A person. But when the church and the act of the Almighty God, they described the act of the Almighty God to her and she believed. Because she believed and it, see, how do you know that they talked about the heart? The act is the one that has the scarlet blood the scarlet, the blood on it. And they told her, on that day as you hear us marching round and blowing our trumpet, bring a scarlet cloth, a red cloth, and hang it on your window. What's the sign? The sign of the crucifixion of Jesus, the author and the finisher of faith. is a sign that she believed and she got saved. That experience and showed great faith, they believed. They believed. I can go on like this for one day. I saw a post and said, "What of faith preachers? What of faith preachers?" Ah. Uh, uh, um, what's the word you use again? A false prophet, yes. Google Word of Faith. You, you see the nasty comments they made about Word of Faith teachers. But is it working? It is working. Why will I leave something that is working for something that is not working? Then I'll be like the Galatians church. Oh, foolish Galatians. Who has deceived you and bewitched you? My father didn't think back to a fool. I'm not a fool. I know what's working. I've seen dead come to life in my meetings. I've seen withered hand grow back. I've seen people walk. I've seen death me in my meeting. All by the word of faith. Amen. There's someone who's saying, those are preachers of faith. You are the false preacher. Because you are teaching people to put yourself in self-bondage. I'm teaching people to look up to Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. MD can we worship? Let's take let's enough for talking. Let's let's show action. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Kalam Brando Shanda Kalia Branda Ilando Shada Kalia Dado Shanda. Le Branda Kalarado Shanda Kalia Branda Kalabado Shanda.